Yeah. Oh, oh, we, we get okay. a Grunfeld. Oh, we got oh, wow. a Grunfeld. Yes, yeah. we get a Grunfeld. So. Wonderful. So we'll see some moves of theory oh, here. Oh, right. Russian, Russian system, or whatever they call that. Yeah. And A6. Heavy theory. Yeah. I never understood this moving the queen around a lot. Did you? Did they teach you that when you were young? It was strictly Didn't forbidden. It was strictly forbidding. Yeah. Forbidden. Three queen moves in the opening. They tell mm. you not to bring the queen out too early. Yeah. But maybe all of them had some purpose. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> White, of course, has the mm. pawn center. So you can understand that Magnus was a bit irritated that he is only in fourth place in the world rankings. Yeah. I, I th think I can understand that too. <coughs> because as far as I remember, he almost wins everything that he yeah. takes part in, yeah. as far as Blitz is yeah. concerned. Yeah. I was about to suggest that move, C5. That is a thematic mm. move. It loses a pawn. But you hope to regain it. You, you hope to show something. Maybe he'll just continue with developing a bishop now mm -hmm. on B7. Yeah. That's what I'm guessing. He'll just pretend nothing has happened. Mm -hmm. Just uh, develop all of his pieces. Bishop b7, put a knight on d7. Mm -hmm. Queen on c7. Somehow it looks familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, it's probably yeah. all heavy theory. Mm. Another thing yeah. that is... I imagine. I'm yeah, doing well in the predictor move. Yeah, yeah. Bishop b7, yeah. Nigel, great move. Yeah, yeah. Develop your pieces. And yeah. Maybe what we also should explain is is what kind of blitz rules they use because they're, I mean, there's there's various blitz rules uh -huh. that you. Uh, here it is. Um, a legal move loses. That's that's fair enough. Mm -hmm. I'm all in favour of that. Yeah. And. If you run out of time, it's not the arbiter who points that out. You have to see it yourself. No, I'm not. Uh, I think the arbiter. I think that's just a rule for uh, lazy arbiters. Well, it's a rule for arbiters with only two eyes, because right. they uh, there are two or three arbiters and there are five boards. Ah, oh, right. So okay. that's. Uh, I think there's, they could there's have three they arbiters and yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that that's the reason why they, yeah. they chose that. And. So Magnus is a pawn up. Hmm. Again, but not, this is different. Not, not for long. This is He's different. about to lose one back. Hmm. So the hmm. e-pawn is hanging now. Bishop takes e4, hmm. looks like the, the right move. Or queen takes queen and then maybe mm -hmm. bishop takes e4. Does that work? Looks like it. It looks... Okay for black, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it looks okay. Yeah. He's not respecting Magnus's authority. authority. Yeah. Not in the Greenfield, but then Anish is a big Greenfield expert. Yeah. It's um, there's a couple of big Greenfield experts. There's another one here, of course, Peter Svitler, who yeah. Um, yeah. published a a course on um, on the Greenfield, which um, is no doubt of a very high level. So isn't this everything Black would have hoped for? I would say uh, that Black is Black is doing okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my impression. Mm. On the other hand, that is a pass pawn on mm -hmm. c5. So yeah. who, who knows? That's a very good move. That's a typical Magnus move. Like Queen c2. Yeah. You know, he protects his knight, mm. gets his queen off the. I wasn't so sure that um, knight takes e4 was the best move. I think he could have played in a, a more mm. simplifying manner. I think that was a slight imprecision. Mm. But what am I talking about? Mm. This is blitz chess. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> slight I, I imprecisions in blitz chess are neither here nor well, there. I was just forgetting what I was doing. But don't you think that these guys play this at a pretty high level? They do. Yeah, they do. They do. They, uh, it's. Uh, but still, yeah, Queen C2 looks like a fine move. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Just everything multi purpose mm. move. Mm -hmm. 
Before I forget, Nigel, are you on Instagram? No, why? Uh, has somebody asked me that? Yeah. I was specifically asked to tell our listeners, viewers, that we are, the tournament is also on Instagram. Oh, great. So if you go to Instagram... A lot of my friends are on Instagram. Then yeah. they, they should go to the uh, No Logo uh, Norway Chess 2014 Instagram mm -hmm. page. So why is, it, why is the tournament called the No Logo Norway let's, Chess let's, let's 2014 get, We're going to event. get to that okay. later. Yeah. <laughs> first, first, let's I say I want that you to explain that to yeah, me. Yeah, if, if, if you go to, the, uh, Instagram, uh, to Instagram and uh, there is a small well, poll there, you can predict the winner of the Blitz tournament today. And if you win that, right, you get two tickets for the entire tournament to, to visit. That doesn't mean that if you live in Australia that you can come over. Well, you can come over, but you have to pay for yourself. <laughs> yep. So in that case, you have to give it to a Norwegian friend. But uh, that's, the, um, that's a small prize that you can win by predicting the winner of the Blitz tournament on Instagram. Of mm -hmm. course, we're also on Twitter, Facebook, on the internet, everywhere. Yeah. So, um, but the tournament is called No Logo uh, because of the uh, the sponsor. Right. The sponsor is a um, betting company. Right. Okay. Or the main sponsor. Okay. And, in and you're not allowed to um, advertise under Norwegian law. Exactly. Is that right. Exactly. That's not so what you're supposed to do. Yeah. So in the end, they chose for the name No Logo because No Logo right. is allowed. Yeah. Um, are you from a betting nation? No, I think you, you are from a betting nation. Oh, right? well, the Brits, we do yeah. like a little flutter on the horses. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's and that's almost everything else, in fact. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. You can bet on everything. Yep. Um, so, well, in fact, you can bet on this tournament, too, I guess. I'm absolutely sure. We, we yep. can speak about the odds later. Yeah, I think uh, mm. Magnus is putting the boot in here. Yep. I is think he he's really just totally outplayed Anish with his brilliant, I mean, sort of little nothing moves. Mm -hmm. He just coordinates so beautifully. Because this is in the space of five moves or something? Yeah, well, just, yeah, half mm -hmm. a dozen moves and mm -hmm. he's, he's just put all his pieces on, on perfect squares. Mm -hmm. And uh, Anish's position is, is a is a total wreck and he's got no time. Why, why is that? Well, why is it a total wreck? Because it his looks as if everything pawns is... on the queen side are, are vulnerable. Mm. His uh, d6 square is weak. So I can see some penetration there, mm. knight coming into to d6. So almost everything looks, looks wrong, mm -hmm. I would say, from... Uh, okay, but the queen goes yeah, to there, a8. There, 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 there's the penetration which mm -hmm. I, I spoke about all oh, right well just about hanging on for the moment and now you think f7 is going to be a vulnerable spot no. okay no it's just eating tucking into anish's uh, queen side there so queen a3, attacking another pawn. That looks like, um, oh right, there was a little tactic. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's not bad, you know, this, mm. um, this Dutch boy. He knows mm. a thing or two about chess. But I can't see him escaping from this. That pawn on d6 is going to carry the day. That passed pawn, that enormous well, passed pawn. And it's an extra pawn. Yeah. So, um, and the player who you ran into this morning and who was very much not f looking forward to play Blitz, he's yeah. won his second game as well. Yeah. Yeah. Vladimir Kramnik beaten Peter Svitler. Well, yeah. No mean player. Absolutely. So. Yeah. And when I, I bumped into. Um, Vladimir, he mm. suggested that I play the Blitz tournament for him. Yeah, so it's all just to get it over tag with. <laughs> yeah. Tag so Blitz, really. Okay. I, I go in as his uh, representative. Well, maybe oh, you Anish can do it. Is, uh, he's fighting well. Mm. He's, he's fighting very well. My goodness. 
He got back the pawn. He got back the pawn, that huge pass pawn. And they're both in terrible, yeah. terrible time trouble. Oops. And, and anything can happen now. Yeah. Still, I would say that um, Carlson is better, but. And mm. uh, yep, Magnus's king is is weak. Ooh, some exchange. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that uh. bit, that pawn is starting to be dangerous. Rook b three, rook behind the pawn. Mm. Yeah, that pawn is going to be a killer, don't you think? Uh, yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. I think. I don't know what to think. Well. I think that pawn is incredibly dangerous. And did you see that Simon Akterstein he beat Feslin to Parlov? Oh right. Okay. Yes. Great. So uh, so great news for Norway. Yep. Well, it's all happening too quickly for, for mm. me to to follow. But uh, Magnus is still pressing, pressing hard for mm. a win, and maybe he's going to get the. Looks like that bishop and the the mm. pawn are too too strong. And he's dominating mm. now with this little bishop move. Yeah. F5, I think, was the only chance. And now some rook down to a8, and it's game over. Yeah. And he's it just all, it cleaning up. Yeah. Cleaning up. Time to resign. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what happened. So that's yeah. a okay. second win for Magnus Carlsen. Yeah. And. The only game still going is Sega Kayakin against Alexander Grischuk.